Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a requested video today. We're going to be making this Sophia the First inspired tutu top. This top can be worn with a tutu or you can add tulle to the bottom of it and it can be made into a tutu dress. So here's what you'll need to complete this project. I'll leave a detailed description down below about these items. First we're going to start by placing our crochet top onto our mannequin. Then we're going to cut our felt down to size. Taking that felt square, we are going to cut fabric around it. Now this fabric needs to be ironed. I recommend that you iron your fabric if it is very wrinkly, but I did not. And now I'm cutting the fabric out about one inch around the felt square. Now, as in my other similar tutorials, I am cutting around this fabric so that it makes it easier to fold over. And then I'm going to place a bead of glue around each side and fold the fabric over onto it. I will leave a link below to the other videos that will show you how to do this step in more detail and also how to add straps and tool to the skirts, to the dress. So now that that's done, I'm going to find the center, the center of this piece and that'll help my design be more symmetric taking my purple permanent marker making two dots towards the lower end of the dress and I'm going to make that little loopy design at the bottom of Sophia's dress here I'm just connecting the dots Sophia also has two rows of beads on her dress and so I'm just marking where I want to put my beads. And using the hot glue gun, dabbing just a bead of glue on each one of these dots. and then I'm going to apply my pearl beads now, if you're making this for a toddler or for a small child that still puts things in their mouth this would not be a good dress for them because they can pull these beads off and choke on them or you can omit this step also So now every Sophia fan knows that she has a magical amulet and I have a large purple rhinestone that I'm using to replicate that. And I've just hot glued that to the center. And I'm going to use this line of the string of pearl beads to make the necklace.
So that is about it for making the bodice. This was very easy. It took about 10 to 15 minutes to do. So once we have that done, we're going to glue it on the dress, much like in other tutorials. Just hot gluing around the sides and lining it up. Remember, if you want to protect your mannequin from the glue, cover it in a plastic trash bag or something to keep the glue off of it. You don't. You can do this without a mannequin. You just need something round. Um, well, it doesn't even have to really be round to do this. You could use like a large square shoebox or some something that you have around the house. And so this is the finished look. So like I said below, I will leave links to the other videos that can sh that show you how I add straps to these types of dresses and how I add tool to the bottom. Thank you so much. Thumbs up and subscribe.